I'm Judson Woods. And I'm Michael O'Brien. I hope everyone watching is excited to be back in school after spring break. I, though, I know that Michael here had a pretty great time over the break. Want to give us a little recap of your time down under? Absolutely. It was I plus 10 students, Ms. Bartow and Ms. Bradley. We went to Australia over spring break. We left uh, the day before spring break started. Uh, we were in Sydney for two days. It was a 15-hour flight from Sydney to, for, no, from Dallas to Sydney. And we were there for two days. And then we went to Launceston, Tasmania. And we all stayed with host families. And we got to shadow the school where uh, our Mr. Foster's brother, Nick, is the head of. And we got to attend classes with our host students and uh, that we took several day trips went to three beaches and uh, later this week you can expect a, a montage coming from me of all that trip because I had my flip camera and I took over a hundred videos Wow thanks Michael that trip sounded awesome it was now on to some announcements the annual Spofford variety show is Sunday April 14th Alex McDonald Deco Ricketts and Harrison Rosenthal will be hosting the show that benefits the Spofford home the girls' soccer team had a great start to their season over the break. They defeated Van Horn 8-0 in their first game and put together another solid effort in a 2-1 loss to O'Hara. Also, good luck to the track team who will participate in their first meet today at Cass Midway. Also, good luck to the baseball and tennis teams. Baseball is an away game today against Casey Lutheran, while the varsity and JV tennis teams will play at Blue Valley North. The robotics team finished second in the Kansas City Regional Competition, earning a spot at the first robotics world championship in St. Louis. Izzy Lloyd is in the room here to let us know how the competition went. Izzy, come on down. Hello. Hello. Thank you for being here. It's nice to be here. So why don't you tell us how the competition went down? Well, um, in our qualification matches, we went, I think, 13-1, and one, and so we spent a lot of time out of 54 teams ranked either first or second. And then um, we ended up the second seed captain um, for the elimination rounds, and we made it all the way to the finals and ended up losing to the first seeded team. <laughs> However, one of the members on the first seeded team had already made it to finals, so we are the first ever robotics team to get the wild card spot and make it to world championships. Congratulations. Thank you. Now what's going to happen for you coming up at those world championships? Um, we're not sure. It, it looks to be pretty pretty good for us. There's a team that puts out offensive power rankings, um, and right now we're ranked 25th in the world, and we have another competition where we'll probably move up in those rankings, so it looks like we're going to do pretty well at Worlds. Um, could you explain the competition, like what does your robot have to do? Our robot has to shoot frisbees into like eight-foot goals, and we have to climb a pyramid. So it's, wow. it's, pretty, it's pretty difficult, but it's really nice, fun watch. What do you think this means for the school? Um, it's a big step, actually. Our team has not been to World Championships since 2008, so it's really showing that um, robotics is a lot of fun, but also really, like, you can be very successful. Well, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Thanks, Izzy. The Hillcrest Community Garden Center, or Garden, is looking for volunteers for the 2013 growing season. Tasks would include planting, watering, and harvesting. Check your email for more information regarding this opportunity. Barstow students performed exceptionally at the Misha Music Festival on March 23rd. Receiving a three for good performance was Elena Abbas, and then receiving a two for excellent performance was Haley Yoon, Ben Abbas, Alec Adkin, Jonah Elishar, Lauren Fox, Rachel Rip, and Wakar Zuberi. And receiving a one for superior performance were Kayla Yoon, Rosie Pasqualini, Izzy Lloyd, and Mitch Mueller. Great work, guys. At the MCTM Math Contest on March 23rd, middle schoolers Ryan Mohammadi and Ethan Gilworth placed third as a team. Additionally, in the individual competition, Ethan placed fourth and Ryan received an honorable mention. The cutoff date for the Presidential Service Award is April 8th. Please turn in your hours as soon as possible. Also, congratulations to 8th grader Nikhil Kupaswamy. He is one of 14 8th graders and a to out, of, out of a total of 66 students vying for a spot on the 2013 U.S. National Math Team. That will compete in the 2013 Hua Finals in China. Short films are now being accepted for the Barstow Film Festival. You have until April 12th to submit a film to Mr. Holmes if you would like to be part of the competition. Since this is our first show in the last two weeks, that is all we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael O'Brien. And I'm Judson Woods. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs>